Title, When the Music Stops. It was a crisp October afternoon, and the world was buzzing with excitement over the latest NFL game. The Kansas City Chiefs were gearing up to face off against a fierce rival, and Travis Kelsey was feeling the pressure. Yet, the anticipation of the game wasn't the only thing on his mind. That morning, Travis had woken up to the news that Diddy had dropped another shocking revelation about Taylor Swift, a close friend of his and someone he had been rumored to be dating. It wasn't just the news itself, it was the way Diddy delivered it that cut deep. Taylor's been writing songs about her heartbreak, and I've been in the studio with her, Diddy teased in an interview, implying that her latest hits were about someone very close to her heart. Travis couldn't shake the feeling that he was part of that narrative, even if just in the shadows. As the game approached, the tension in the locker room was palpable. Teammates joked and laughed, trying to lighten the mood, but Travis felt isolated. He was used to the spotlight, but this was different. The scrutiny of his personal life felt like a weight he couldn't bear. He kept replaying Diddy's words in his head, feeling like he was losing something precious. The game kicked off, and for the first quarter, Travis managed to keep his focus on the field. He made several impressive catches, showcasing his skills, but his heart wasn't in it. With every touchdown, cheers erupted around him, but they felt hollow. Each time he glanced at the stands, he half expected to see Taylor, cheering him on, but she wasn't there. By half time, he was exhausted, not just physically, but emotionally. As he sat on the bench, surrounded by the cacophony of cheers and music blaring from the stadium, he felt a wave of loneliness wash over him. He pulled out his phone, scrolling through social media. The trending topics were filled with snippets of Diddy's interview and fans speculating about Taylor's next song. The comment sections were ruthless, dissecting every detail, every possible connection. Then it hit him. The idea that he was just a footnote in someone else's story, a moment of joy for fans, but not the main event in his own life. That realization was like a punch to the gut. He felt tears prickling at the corners of his eyes, and he fought them back, telling himself to stay strong. When the halftime whistle blew, Travis walked to the locker room, his mind racing. As soon as the door closed behind him, he felt the floodgates open. He sank onto a bench, his hands covering his face as the tears streamed down. It wasn't just about Taylor or Diddy, it was about the confusion he felt in his heart, the uncertainty of where he stood with her, and the fear that this moment would define their relationship. Just then, his teammate Patrick Mahomes walked in, his face lighting up with a smile. You good, man, you're killing it out there. He said, but the smile quickly faded when he saw the state Travis was in. Travis, what's wrong? Travis wiped his eyes and took a deep breath. I don't know, Pat. I just, I feel like I'm losing something that means a lot to me. All this talk about Taylor, it's just, it's overwhelming. Mahomes nodded, understanding. Look, man, the media loves to stir the pot. But you know who you are and what you mean to her. Don't let anyone else dictate your feelings. You've got this. Travis appreciated his friend's support but still felt a lingering doubt. As the second half began, he tried to channel his emotions into the game. The crowd was roaring again, and he made a spectacular catch, but the exhilaration was short-lived. Every touchdown felt bittersweet without Taylor there to share it with him. In a twist that no one saw coming, the worlds of the NFL, hip-hop, and pop music collided in an emotional spectacle when NFL star Travis Kelsey found himself in tears after hip-hop mogul Diddy dropped a bombshell about Taylor Swift. The story begins on a typical Saturday night at a red carpet event in Los Angeles. The venue was buzzing with celebrities, reporters, and fans eager to catch a glimpse of their idols. Among the crowd were Diddy and his entourage, and in a quieter corner, Travis Kelsey, who had just arrived after a grueling week of practices and games. The NFL tight end was all smiles, his relationship with Taylor Swift the talk of the tabloids and a constant source of intrigue among fans. Just as the night seemed like it would flow with the usual glitz and glamour, Diddy took the stage for an unexpected speech. He grinned, pausing for dramatic effect, before dropping the news that left the entire crowd, and Kelsey, in shock. Now, y'all know I don't spill tea unless it's worth it, Diddy began, the crowd leaning in. But there's something about our girl Taylor that none of you know. He let the suspense build before dropping the bombshell. Taylor Swift just inked a deal for the biggest hip-hop collaboration album of all time. 
The words hit the audience like a lightning bolt, with whispers and gasps spreading through the room. Taylor's known for her genre-crossing abilities, but partnering with Diddy on a hip-hop album was groundbreaking. Meanwhile, Kelsey's jaw dropped. His mind raced. This wasn't just big for Taylor's career, it was monumental. But as he processed it, he felt something deeper. He'd been one of Taylor's closest confidants, and yet, she hadn't mentioned a word. It felt like a side of her he hadn't been allowed into, a huge part of her life unfolding without him. For a moment, he felt like just another fan on the outside, yearning for a glimpse behind the curtain. The weight of the moment grew, and as Kelsey looked out over the excited crowd, he felt an unexpected surge of emotion. Diddy's words played in his head on repeat, biggest hip-hop album of all time. The pride and thrill he felt for Taylor were real, but there was also something tender and vulnerable, he couldn't hide it. A tear escaped, and he wiped it away quickly, hoping no one noticed. But, of course, they did. Cameras turned to capture the rare moment of raw emotion, the NFL star known for his strength and confidence letting his guard down. Diddy noticed, too, smiling, he stepped over and patted Kelsey on the back, leaning in. She's got a lot of love for you, man. This is just one more chapter. Don't worry. In that moment, Travis laughed through the tears. He knew Diddy was right. Their relationship would grow stronger, even with this new chapter in Taylor's career. Title. The Bombshell Confession. It was a crisp autumn evening in Kansas City, and the air was filled with excitement. The Chiefs were on a winning streak, and Travis Kelsey had just secured a pivotal touchdown in their latest game. The stadium roared with applause as he made his way to the locker room, riding the high of the victory. Little did he know, the night was about to take an unexpected turn. As the players celebrated in the locker room, the atmosphere shifted when one of Travis's teammates burst in, phone in hand, eyes wide with disbelief. You won't believe what Diddy just said on his livestream. He exclaimed. The room fell silent, all eyes glued to the screen as the clip began to play. Diddy, in his characteristic flamboyance, had just dropped a bombshell that sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. He claimed that Taylor Swift and Travis had been secretly dating for months, sharing intimate details that only someone close to them would know. The bombshell wasn't just about their relationship, it was about the depth of their connection and how serious things had gotten. Travis's heart sank. He had been trying to keep his relationship with Taylor under wraps, wanting to enjoy the time they spent together away from the glaring eyes of the media and public scrutiny. He thought they had found a balance, a safe haven amid their chaotic lives. The clip continued, revealing personal moments Diddy claimed to have witnessed between the two, details that felt invasive and unnerving. As the video ended, Travis's teammates erupted into laughter, teasing him about his secret romance. But instead of joining in the fun, Travis felt an overwhelming wave of emotion. He had always been the jokester, the guy who could shrug off pressure with a laugh, but this felt different. The light-hearted banter turned into an uncomfortable weight pressing down on him. He excused himself from the locker room, needing air to breathe. Outside, the cold wind hit his face, but it did little to quell the storm brewing inside him. He leaned against a wall, trying to collect his thoughts, but his mind raced. Was Diddy right? Had he put Taylor in a position where her privacy was compromised? The thought made his stomach turn. Unable to contain his emotions any longer, Travis found himself breaking down, tears streaming down his face. It wasn't just about the revelation, it was the fear of losing something precious to him, the fear of the chaos that fame could bring into their lives. He pulled out his phone, scrolling through their last messages, each one a reminder of the joy she brought him. Suddenly, his phone buzzed with an incoming call. It was Taylor. He hesitated but answered, his voice cracking as he spoke. Hey, Tay, did you see? Yeah, I did, she replied softly, her voice calm but laced with concern. I'm so sorry, Travis. I thought we were being careful. I just, I don't want you to feel like you're under a microscope. You deserve your privacy, he confessed, his voice breaking again. I know, and I hate that Diddy did this. But you can't let him dictate how we feel about each other. This is just noise, she said, her confidence cutting through his despair. We have something real, and we can handle this. Her words wrapped around him like a warm blanket, pulling him back from the edge of panic. They talked for a while longer, sharing fears and laughter, reaffirming their bond. 
By the end of the call, Travis felt a renewed sense of strength. Taylor was right, they could face anything together. With a deep breath, he wiped his tears away, the weight on his chest lifting slightly. He walked back into the locker room, a small smile forming as he saw his teammates still buzzing with energy. Did you cry, Kelsey? One of them teased as he walked in.